Oh, just a shameless plug before we start the, today's video. Uh, my Twitch channel, Mr. Baron FM, where I am currently streaming a Rochdale save and we're doing very well in the league, so uh, I hope to see you over there. Anyway, let's get on with the video. Hello oh, ladies and gentlemen and welcome back, I hope I find you very well. Now today we have two massive games, but before before we reflect on that, <clears throat> we have two big games today, Tottenham at away first, Tenerife in the middle and then the return to the Mestalla in the second leg. Before that I showed you the Bayer Leverkusen 2 all draw, since then we have beaten third in the league Real Betis 4-1 very convincingly and then a very topsy-turvy 5-3 win against Villarreal Hugo, Gimi Hugo Guillermo getting sent off in that game formerly of us um, he also conceded a penalty so Mission Hugo was a success also a little bit of transfer news Unfortunately, Alex Antelas wants to leave, so he's currently choosing between either Watford or Sassuolo for five million. It's sad to see him go, but when you got a player like Jose Gai, it, it you know it's quite hard to get in the team. I'm gonna bring Vinicius Junior in and rest Perejo for the league. Bruno Gimares is gonna start, and we'll keep Milik in and Barbos is on the bench so he will probably start at some point also Daniel Vass is joining Bronby at the end of the season on a free he's been a been a really good player for us but it's probably best that he moves on anyway let's get going so looking at their side it's <clears throat> kind of different to how it how it is in modern times Hugo Lloris is still in goal um, Ricardo Pereira has joined from Leicester, Toby Alderweireld, Eric Dyer and Wijnald. The Pokemon of Jeannie Wijnaldum. Then it's Tangi and Dombele, Almendra, Losenso, former Newcastle man, Florian Tovan, Deli Alloyal on the left and Harry Kane on top, who's been on fire this season. Gaznegra on the bench, Ben Davis, Matthias Vital, Son Hyung Min, Oliver Skip, another lesser player, James Justin, and Steven Bergvine. Can we get the all important away goal? It'd be good if we could kill the tie off straight away, to be honest with you. And we're off at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, still not named it. There's Leon Bailey getting pushed away, Gimaresh. Played it out nicely. Gimaresh pings it over to Leon Bailey as his goal. Straight down the throat of Hugo Lloris. It's a long throw in. Jose Guy whips over. Coop Miners gets it. Maxim Lopez takes him on. Can he get a shot away? He does. Oh, just over the bar. Very bright start. And since I said bright start, we've not had a chance yet. 30 minutes gone. Still 0 0. Can we get a goal before half time? They've got the highlight. But you know we're a good counter-attacking team. And Enrico Real just hoofs it wide. And Milik has picked the ball up. Can he capitalise? Oh, saved by Hugo Lloris. Couldn't get any words out then. Leon Bailey whips over and headed straight out of the goalkeeper again. It's like the Gonzalo Guedes effect. And Deli Alli's got the ball on the counter now. Plays it to Lo Celso and Dombele. One back Enrico Rio. He's through on goal. And is that a penalty? It's a penalty. Just before half time. Can Coop Miners bang in the bottom corner? And Valencia get that vital away goal. I was quite shocked that Coop Miners were taking it, to be honest. Oh, look at that. It's like he didn't even mean to hit it. But that is a good way to end the first half. Second half is underway. And. We're doing alright. Jose Guy is injured now. We have to really adjust everything around now. Daniel Vass comes in. 
get a long throw in Daniel Voss. Leon Bailey, Gimaresh and Milik just taps it in. And that's a second away goal, that's his 21st of the season. Very underrated player this season. Coop Manners plays down to Leon Bailey. Gimaresh, I think that's a shot. And Milik just gets a touch on it, cups his ears and runs away. Reese plays it out to Alderweireld. Soler hurrying. Son Youngman. Oliver Skip pings a ball over to Bergwijn. And Oostings has severely messed up. And Steven Bergwijn has handed Tottenham a lifeline. What on earth are you doing? He's 19. He's prone to mistakes. But it's fine. Oh, Davinson Sanchez. Wait, is he allowed to play? I'm surprised he's allowed to play. Three and a half minutes to go. Koopman is straight at the goalkeeper again. And I don't think the highlight's over yet. Harry Kane pings out to Son, who's got loads of space. And Harry Kane has equalised. Oh, no. We've just absolutely crumbled. And that is going to end 2 all. As if we've just thrown that away in the last 10 minutes. So, we have to take some positives and scoring two away goals is a massive help. In other news, Man United have beaten Lazio 2-1. Sandro Tonali and Anthony Martial scoring. Stuttgart are also 1-0 up against Leon with a goal from Wamangi Tuka. I'd struggle to sell out them. Uh, Severe also 2-1 up away against Zenit with Munir and Juan Jordan scoring. And all the ties are they're, they're open. I forgot to mention that we're currently 12 points clear. And there's not many points to play for. The actual Valencia record is 26 wins in the season, we're on 24 already. Milik is on the verge of breaking Valencia's leading goal scoring record in the season with 21, he's one goal off that. It's 12 points, surely it's more or less done and dusted. There's 21 points to play for, but 12 points clear. So, four more wins, depending where uh, Barcelona finish. I'm not giving any talks. That's like Russian roulette, that stuff. Also saying that Napoli have just crumbled since we left, I think. I think they're currently third in the league. Yeah, currently third, 10 points behind Juventus. Leipzig are top of the league there as well. Who have we got in England? Tottenham, Arsenal, job week. We've got to keep looking for other jobs for when they do pop up. I do fancy that Dortmund job. Against the part of the season now where teams are securing Champions League and playoffs and survival. Right, so the team for this game. Who sings in goal? Vas, Kunde, Coop Miners and Selic. Bailey, Parejo, Guedes, Rio, Lopez and Gabriel Barbosa starts for the first time in a while. As he has been injured. I fancy us against everyone at home. Which is why the Tottenham game is going to be vital. Tenerife playing in a very nice pink. There we go. Selic throws over. Can he get the ball in the box? Here's Kunde. Leon Bailey. Kunde. Enrico Rio. Oh. Just up the bar. Bailey rips over. Coop minus Parejo. And couldn't is he onside? He looked offside to me though. Either way, Jules Conde has scored his second goal of the season. He's not, he's not offside. Or is he because of the goalkeeper? I don't know. They have not flagged for it, so Can we get underway now? Gonzalo Guedes and that is a penalty. And Parejo has his chance to score his 16th of the season, I think. Is that his 16th? It's his 18th. Wow, what a season he's having. I don't actually think he's missed a penalty yet. And that's half-time. 
and we are 2 0 up. Lippin's goal number three. Oh, very close. The goalkeepers, uh, the referees were wearing a very nice purple as well. And I've standard professional 2 0 win against Tenerife, and we are, we're closing in on that title. Jordi Escobar scored twice against New Mancia. Take him to 10 goals for the season, so it's looking good. Allegri is after Zeki Selic. Is it something that we'd let happen? I'm not sure. We will see in due course. I forgot to say we had uh, our youth intake there and literally the only good player we had was Francisco Jesus Ruiz. The 16 year old striker who, who knows? Could one day start in the first team. Although I feel we won't be here by the time he hits his prime. <laughs> Either that or something very wrong has happened. I just thought in my head then how important this game is. And more or less our whole season hangs on it now. As we are 12 points clear. We just need to win our next two games and we've won the league I think. One thing I'm not sure I'm doing though is if if a big job comes up then we've kind of we've kind of got to take it straight away and come back and do the Copper Del Rey further down the line. It depends it depends how big the job is. Oh. I didn't know that Pep Guardiola was manager of Tottenham. <laughs> I wonder where Klopp is nowadays. Because he always ends up leaving to go to City or something. Things is showing remarkable improvements during training. He's turning into some player. He's probably one of the best regen players I've ever had. Oh, Seki Selic is injured. Oh, I don't know. Danny Pereira's got a play. He's on 18 goals. I'm going to play Vinicius Junior and Leon Bailey. I think that team picks for itself. Hopefully, by the end of this episode, we'll be in the semi finals and get that one ticked off the list. I expect it. No, no, Vinicius, don't be giving me that. Don't be confused. It's okay. Maxim Lopez is injured inside 40 seconds. Soler's going to come in straight away. Oh, what a waste. Maxime Lopez is one of our best attacking players. Centelles launches it in Carlos Soler and it's cleared away. I mean, I don't even know why that was worthy of a highlight, to be honest. Quick minus, Soler. What's going on? A penalty? What for? I mean, I'll take it. Parejo. Don't make me backfire on my words. And Prejo gets his 19th of the season. Mr. Reliable. Is that James Milner? Oh, Tovan whips over. Just over the bar. Throw it. Hugh Colleries collects. Why do we even do them throw-ins? Tovan. Over to Ricardo Pereira. He's got a lot of pace. He's beating them all and smacks it straight down Oosting's throat. Oosting's blast it all the way to Vinicius Junior straight away. And Parejo whips through and Vinicius Junior's in front and he scored. Danny Parejo with the assist. What a ball. I was debating, debating on bringing Gimresh in and I kept Parejo in and he scored. And I swapped Geddes out for Vinicius Junior and he scored. Tactical genius if you ask me. Where is that Hall of Fame anyway? So we go in at half time. 4-2 in front. Can we bottle a two-goal lead again this time? Tottenham have the highlights. I think. Never tell with how good we are on the counter attack. Leon Bailey wins the ball back, and I think it is ours. Leon Bailey plays through Vinicius Jr. And Vinicius Jr. scored again. And I think we're through to the semis. Leon Bailey tracking back to win the ball back. 
place for Vinicius Junior as a shot the first time and Lloris powers it straight out in front of him. Vinicius Junior is there to tap it in. That's his nine for the season and we we've got one and a half legs in the semi-final. And Milik is through and he's put it way wide. How have you managed that? Leon barely putting on his afterburners. Lloris tips it wide. Leon barely whips over the following corner and Coop Manners heads it straight at the goalkeeper. Hold of Ireland and won the ball back. Oostings pings the ball up to Geddes and he's through. Geddes is through. Oh, I'll tell you what, Oostings has got one hell of a kick on him. Bass whips over and Davinson Sanchez scores. Nearly sco scores. Davinson Sanchez nearly scores against his parent club and we are through to the Europa League semi-final who'd have thought also Man United are through Diogo Jota and Ryan Matis Jerky who is regarded as a very good young talent and that is evident there he looks like a brilliant player only at the age of 18 Sevilla also battering Zenit 5-1 on aggregate, Piano, Ronnie Lopez and Indio scoring and he's not having a bad season. Also us winning 5-2 on aggregate and we are going to play Leon in the semi-final which means if we qualify for the final we will play either Man United or Sevilla. I hate playing Man United on this game. So you have arrived at your final destination at the end of the episode. Just a little reminder of the, the game that we started yesterday of um, where is he? <laughs> um, you just have to guess the four players. You can write down in these comments I'm going to release the answers on Friday's episode. So I hope you get your uh, your predictions. It's not a prediction. Uh, in there anyway. And I will see you in tomorrow's video bright and early as of 5pm. Thank you and good night.